Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at which heat formula to use. Generally, there are two. So let's look at exactly when to use each of the formulas. First, let's look at what the two formulas are. I've already done two separate videos on each formula. Video links are at the corner. Let's get into the video. These are the two formulas, Q is equals to mc delta theta and Q is equals to ml. In both cases, Q represents heat energy, but in the first formula, Q is the heat energy that is absorbed or released when there is a change in temperature. So when there is a change in temperature, when heat is absorbed, the temperature goes up. When heat is released, the temperature of the substance goes down. And when this change in temperature is going on, then we use this formula. Q is equals to ML is used when there is a change in phase of matter. Heat energy that is absorbed or released, it is still heat energy, but when there is a change in phase, meaning when there is a change from solid to liquid or liquid to gas or the other way around. By looking at the formulas, you can tell right away. Here we have delta theta, here we have no delta theta here. So this is when there is a change in temperature, this is when the temperature is constant. Let's look at when the temperature is constant and when the temperature will go up. Let's look at the heating curve of solid X. So this is the temperature axis and this is the heat absorbed. That means as we go on, more and more heat is being absorbed. This is the heating curve of solid X. So the starting phase will be solid. So let's start from here. So let's say we supply heat. So heat is supplied continuously throughout this process. So when we first begin, this is in the solid phase. As we supply more and more heat, the temperature will go up. The temperature will increase until it reaches a point where the temperature no longer increases and it stays constant. Notice here we continue to supply heat. Heat is still being supplied, but the temperature doesn't change. This is when there is a change in phase of matter that is going on. So solid starts to melt. There will be a mixture of solid li and liquid in this case here. Because solid is just beginning to change to liquid. There is a mixture of solid and liquid and the temperature remains constant all along because heat energy is being used to overcome the bonds, to break the bonds between the solid particles in order that they can move farther apart enough to become liquids. The temperature at this point is known as the melting point because the change in phase is from solid to liquid. Once we reach this point, all the solids have melted. So all the solids have become liquid. And once all solids have become liquid, there's no more change in phase of matter going on. So the temperature will start to increase again. The heat energy that we supply now will be used to increase the kinetic energy of the liquid particles. So that's when the temperature goes up. The heat energy is not being used to break the bonds between liquid particles. Now in the liquid phase, the temperature will continue to go up until it reaches a point where the liquid particles will start turning into gas particles. So at this point again, exactly the same as this, energy is being absorbed to break the bonds between the particles. So energy is used to break the bonds between the liquid particles so that they can move further apart and become gas particles. So here at the beginning, not all of the liquid will become gas instantaneously. So there will be a period of time where both liquid and gas particles exist together. And this is where it exists. And this temperature here is known as the boiling point because the change in phase of matter is between liquid and gas. Once we've reached this point, all liquid particles would have become gas particles and now the heat energy that is supplied will increase the kinetic energy of the gas particles and so the temperature will start to go up again. So the question is when do we use Q is mc delta theta and when do we use Q is equals to ml? When there is a change in temperature. So here all the places where the temperature is going up in this heating curve that is where we use Q is equals to mc delta theta. That will be here here and here where the temperature is increasing. Q is equal to ML is used when there is a change in phase of matter and the temperature is constant. There is no change in temperature and that will be at these two points here. The same principle can be applied 
to heat energy that is released. So in this case, heat energy is being absorbed all the way. The same thing applies when heat is released. So when heat is released, we have a cooling curve. Let's look at the cooling curve of gas X. So we start with gas as energy is being released, heat energy is released, the temperature will start to drop until it comes to the boiling point. The boiling point, the gas will start to change into liquid. Since the gas particles are just beginning to turn into liquid, there will be a mixture of liquid and gas at this point here. Until it reaches here, when all gas has turned to liquid, then liquid temperature will start to drop again until it becomes, start changing into solid. When it begins to change to solid, there will be a period of time where solid and liquid exist together. Until all the liquid particles have become solid particles, then the temperature will start to drop again. So again, when there is a change in temperature, in this case a drop in temperature, we use Q is MC delta theta. And when there is no change in temperature, when there is a change in the phase of matter, which is what is going on here and here, we use Q is equals to ML. That's it for this video guys. I will do a question to explore the two formulas being used together and the link will be here. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do hit the like button to support me and my channel. It really does help. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one video a week. I'll see you in the next video.